Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Tango segmentation engine uh, to build more complex logic within your segments to infuse in your health definitions and also to build processes via success flays. I'm assuming that you already know how to build a segment, so we're going to navigate straight to the segments that are already created. And I'm going to show you a couple of interesting tricks. So originally, what I'm going to do, and I'm going, I'm going to build a segment that has customers that have not had any touch, so there has been no interaction with them in over seven days, and they also have over three top priority tickets. So that's one of the segments that I already built. The other segment that I built is customers that are not using my documents module and are not using my reports module in the last 30 days. So these are really bad criteria for me to know that the customer is not doing well uh, as far as their health. How I'm going to leverage that in my health definitions, if I go to the health settings, I'm going to go to my onboarding customers, and I'm going to infuse these particular segments in my health definition for affecting poor health. So if you know, um, as far as the definitions in the poor health, uh, it, it actually relies on the or statement. So you have all these different conditions that are in place, and if they're all, uh, one of them is satisfied, then your customer is going to fall into poor health. But sometimes we actually need multiple conditions to be met in order to, for customer to be in poor health. And this is why we would leverage the segments of logic first and then infuse it into the particular health definition for poor health. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to expose the account segment and I'm going to look for the segments that I have uh, defined already before getting into the health. And I'm going to find them. So I have not using my documents and reports module. And then I have my specific conditions of no touch over seven days and over three top priority tickets. So I want the customer to fall into poor health if they are within these particular segments where they're not using their documents module uh, at all and they have not used the reports module in over 30 days. And also if they fall into a segment where no one has had a conversation with them in over 30 days and they have over three top priority tickets. So if these uh, conditions are met, if these customers are in these particular segments, they will fall into poor health. So this is how we can infuse this particular complex logic in our health definitions. The other neat thing that we can do uh, within the complex logic of segments is also build processes. So what I'm going to do is actually show you a segment that I created for churn risk accounts. And I've actually leveraged the same, the same conditions that are already defined in my other uh, segments. And how I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go into the editor what I've done is I grab the segments that I have defined. So I'm grabbing customers that are not using my documents or reports module. They also have not had uh, a conversation with anyone on our team and they have over three top priority tickets. They're paying customers. And because I want to only target customers or assign a task to my CSM for customers that are of high touch, I'm going to exclude the customers that are, are not in my uh, low touch account segment. So I'm actually using the is in segment and not in segment logic when I'm building my master segment. So I'm going to apply that. And now that I have my particular segment, I can launch directly into building my process through the success play editor. So I don't have to redefine my logic. All of my segment conditions are already available for me. And all I'm left to do is define what my process will be. Uh, and then activate and send it to my particular CSMs. I hope this quick tip was helpful. Uh, please reach out to us if you have any questions and we'll be happy to help. Thank you very much.